Welcome to The Terrible Take, a daily segment telling Steelers Nation what's on our mind. I'm Alex Kazora. Let us at Steelers Depot be the last to wish you a happy and safe Thanksgiving. Watching the Steelers run defense this season is making me thankful and also miss the play of nose tackle Tyson Aluwalu, lost five quarters into 2021. It's one of several reasons why the Steelers' run D has backslid the way it has. Ever since he hurt his MCL against the Ravens last season, that low block by fullback Patrick Ricard, the run defense has not been the same. From week 1 to week 7 last year, prior to Aluwalu's injury, the Steelers had the league's second best run defense. From week 8 to week 17, they fell to 25th, and this year, they ranked tied for last in yards per carry allowed at 4.8, churned up again and again. The man tasked to replace Aluwalu this year has been Isaiah Bugs, the most frustrating player on this defense. Yes, even more than Devin Bush. Bugs is a talented guy. There was genuine excitement when Pittsburgh got him in the sixth round and reunited him with college coach Carl Dunbar. But I now see why he was a late day three pick. Bugs has the size, the strength, he flashes. But I don't know if I've seen a player so maddeningly inconsistent. For every impressive snap Bugs has, he logs a poor one. Coming into the league, he apparently struggled with keeping his weight in check. Keith Butler talked about it every time he mentioned him. That seems to be less of an issue now, but his inconsistent play remains. Check my Twitter timeline, and you'll see two plays that sum up Bugs' hit and miss production. Two snaps of him being asked to shift down the line and struggling with something as basic and fundamental as his stance. On one snap, he forgot to put his hand on the ground and rushed from a two-point stance like an outside linebacker. After the snap, you get the sense he makes a ton of mental and assignment mistakes, something implied by Butler and others on this coaching staff. Even Cam Hayward straight up said Bugs needs to become a more consistent player. To give a little grace, there is a lot on Bugs' plate. He's functionally been the only nose tackle on this roster since Alu Alu got hurt. No one on the coaching staff can convince me Henry Mondo is a nose tackle. He is not. I want to see Bugs flourish. I think he can But to do that, he has to have less variance in his game. At this point in his career, I'm not sure it'll change for the better. Be sure to follow us at SteelersDepot.com and check out episodes of The Terrible Take every day at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. And check out The Terrible Podcast with myself and Dave Bryan every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday.